born to burn. You're watching Gears, brought to you by Ram Truck. Hey, welcome to Gears. You know, a while back, we started a project called Heavy Metal, which involved a 1969 international truck that we pulled out of a junkyard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Keep going. The first thing we did was roll it in here and get that old gasoline engine running. Then, in our quest for even more power, we pulled out the gas engine and stuffed in a hot Duramax diesel from PPE. From there, the project was put on the back burner while I searched for a heavy-duty air suspension to put under that thing. And most companies just laughed at me when I told them the size of the vehicle, what it was, and how much power it was kicking out. But one company didn't laugh, Kelderman Air Suspension. Because big trucks is what they do. And they say they have never seen a truck that they couldn't build an air suspension for. So we decided to see if that was true. I mean, it's designed so when you put a large toy hauler on the back of it, it keeps the truck level, it's auto leveling. I mean. Our bags or suspensions are rated for more than what the factory axles are. So you can put pretty much wherever you want to hook on the back of this truck and it's going to set level and we've got it all designed what size of sway bars to use so that when you have a large load behind your lifted truck, you're setting level and you know you can drive it, you can haul it in the mountains, you can take corners, you know, the thing handles fantastic. When driving a performance car or truck, everybody wants the ability to cruise comfortably run faster lap times, and still get the best fuel mileage possible. Having more gears in your transmission is a great way to do this. And nobody understands that better than American Powertrain. They have drivetrain parts, five and six speed transmission systems, as well as hydraulic clutch conversions. If you want to tap the full potential of your vehicle, swinging a big stick is the best way to do that. American Powertrain, more gears, more fun. To a lot of people, owning a classic car or truck is a dream come true. Unfortunately, if you have the wrong insurance, that dream can turn into a nightmare if you are in an accident. Fortunately, there is Grundy Insurance. Grundy not only understands the value of a classic vehicle, but also the importance of getting it fixed quickly and correctly if it's damaged. Whether you have a classic Mustang or a priceless Ferrari, Grundy is the first and final name in classic car insurance. The first step was to pull out the original rear suspension and axle because even though it's cool, there's no upgrades available like disc brakes or lockers or cool wheels that are going to fit this thing. It's pretty much a big, heavy boat anchor. The same is true with the huge I-beam front axle. And even getting something like this out from under a cab over truck can be a challenge because you're not just going to pick it up and move it around by hand. The new axles, just like the truck, also came from a junkyard, but they're off of a 2005 GMC 5500 top kick. So the rear axle's already set up for dual wheels, it has modern disc brakes, 513 gears, and a limited slip differential. Now it's just a matter of mounting it in the frame. To do that, the guys at Kelderman took the four-link, four-bag rear suspension that they use on Dodge 5500 and Ford 550 ambulances and began to adapt it to the old international frame. 
The ambulance says we're unique. We use a four-link suspension. We use a track bar that goes right across the top of the axle. But we use four airbags. We use two smaller airbags on each side. There's enough space on the chassis to put them between the tire and the frame. It gives you good stability, and it also gives you a lower dump height. Most of the brackets pretty much bolted in place on the rear of the old straight frame. But for things like the sway bar and the pannard bar, that took a little more engineering and fabrication. The front axle was a whole different matter and required a ton of fabrication. Not only did it have to be narrowed two inches, but it also had to be dropped three inches in the center to clear the oil pan. And when you're welding on an axle, you need somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah, don't give all these young guys the credit. This old dude weld that front axle for him, man. <laughs> we ended up basically making a drop axle with even more drop so that we could lower that thing, get the stance we wanted when we let the air out, you know, have a little bit of distance between the uh, front tires and the fenders so that not only does it look cool, but it's strong and it's not something we have to worry about failing down the road. The tie rod and the sway bar had to be hand fabricated and the four link had to be mounted in front of the axle to clear the steering and other stuff. The airbags are tucked in back of the front wheels and to smooth everything out, the suspension sits on Bilstein 7100 remote reservoir shocks front and rear.